naturalist Richard Aiken had achieved remarkable feats in his lifetime, holding two doctorates, including one in medicine and being a published author. His accomplishments were laudable. However, amidst his successes, there lingered a clandestine desire unknown to many. Aiken harbored an intense passion for nature, yearning for a life enveloped by the open air. Yet, his deepest aspiration remained concealed from those closest to him, leaving them astounded when it finally surfaced. Identifying as a devout naturalist extended beyond his affection for the outdoors, he adhered strictly to a vegan lifestyle. However, an irresistible pull toward the wilderness beckoned him toward a grand endeavor, one that would soon captivate audiences worldwide. Initially supportive, Aiken's family's attitude shifted dramatically upon learning of his ambition to retire in the woods. Fearful for his safety due to his advancing age, they opposed his decision vehemently. Despite the odds stacked against him, Aiken remained resolute, refusing to relinquish his dream. Known for his scholarly approach and thoughtful decisions, he surprised those closest to him when he purchased a dilapidated cabin deep in the woods, leading many to question his judgment. However, what seemed like a reckless choice would soon turn into a stroke of luck. The cabin, with its decaying exterior and bare interior, appeared to be a lost cause to others. Yet, Aiken saw potential and embarked on turning his dream into reality, much to the disappointment of his family. Fueled by his inner hippie, he remained optimistic about the feasibility of his dream. However, when faced with a significant obstacle, doubt crept in, causing him to question the wisdom of his retirement plan. Describing himself as an old hillbilly for wanting to retire in the woods, Aiken realized that his dream required substantial financial investment, posing a significant challenge. Further research revealed that constructing a cabin in the woods would be prohibitively expensive, especially considering the high cost of land. Was this the end of his dream? Aiken initially believed his dream was impossible and tried to accept this fact. However, a kind gesture from a friend renewed his hope. Despite his friend offering him free land in a forest, knowing Aiken's desire to live in the woods, Aiken shocked everyone by declining. Instead, he insisted on paying at least $100 for the land, which his friend happily accepted. Upon seeing the condition of the cabin, Aiken understood why the price was so low. Examining the cottage closely, Aiken noted its deteriorating exterior and missing roof, which left him disheartened. Aware of the immense work needed to make the cottage livable, Aiken took time to consider his commitment to the project. Realizing the cabin represented his lifelong dream, Aiken resolved to give it his all. Initially met with disapproval from his family regarding his restoration efforts, their perspective changed when he took a significant step. Aiken's adult children stepped in to assist him, greatly improving the cabin's appearance. However, just as progress seemed promising, Aiken encountered another setback. While renovating, Aiken discovered the cabin was built over bedrock, requiring a halt to construction until he devised a new design. Employing his intellect, Aiken modified the plans to elevate the cabin above ground level. Despite the setback, progress resumed until a third setback arose, this time stemming from his family. The extended renovation, due to the elevation adjustment, strained familial relations, especially as his children grew weary of weekend assistance. Aiken's wife grew increasingly displeased with the escalating costs of the project. Despite the challenges and strain on his family, the construction finally concluded. It took a decade for Aiken to finish the cabin, but his determination prevailed. Even his initially skeptical family members were impressed by the final result. Yet, the property held an unexpected treasure that enhanced the cabin's allure. Aiken and his children stumbled upon a water table near the wooden cabin. With the aid of bulldozers, they transformed the area into a lake, a valuable addition for all. Recognizing his family's concerns, Aiken opted not to retire in the woods. Instead, he envisioned the cabin as a cherished holiday retreat, bringing joy to the entire family. Documenting the entire renovation process, naturalist Richard Aiken. The response was overwhelmingly positive, with many praising Aiken's ingenuity and dedication. However, what truly mattered to Aiken was the opportunity to share his dream cabin with his loved ones, now a place for relaxation and bonding.